Uh, look what arrived here, the Xperia Pro I. So let's get started with the unboxing. So this is the box, the Xperia Pro I, the latest professional smartphone camera phone from Sony. And this is the packaging, as you can see, a typical Xperia packaging, but with something interesting now, because no plastic in packaging, which is new. They uh, were working on this before, and now they achieved it, apparently. And here you can see some of the specs, 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel, and 3D TOF, 8 megapixel, then uh, 4K OLED display, 4500 milliampere hours, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, and IP65 and 68 water and dust resistant. And only uh, one little flap that I can open up here with the right tool, of course, it works. And now let's see. And there we go. Xperia. This is new. This is like paper. So this is the plastic free lifestyle apparently and uh, how can I get it out like this? Yeah, here's the device itself. We'll look at this later. And then we have some paper material here. So instead of plastic they're using paper. Uh, some quick start guide, some warranty guide, important information in various different language. Uh, let's put it aside and let's check what they put inside as well the power brick this should be 30 watts usb power pd there we go you can see it 30 watts pd power plug and uh, no headphones as you can see here usually there's a space for headphones but no headphones inside uh, just a usb type c cable so only the reviewers got headphones which is a bit of a bummer and uh, now to the main attraction let's get this Wow! So this is the Xperia Pro I, and uh, yeah, this is what you can get. There's some stickers here as well. Wow! Here we have the triple lens setup with the biggest lens ever, probably with the one-inch sized sensor. Even though you cannot use the whole sensor size, it is still impressive and looks gorgeous. Then we have an ultra wide angle, and we have a tele zoom. Ultra wide angle is, I think, the same that I'm recording with here on the Xperia 1 Mark 3, and the telezoom should be the same that we had on the Xperia 1 Mark 2, I think, 50 millimeters. You can see the brand new mono mic that can be used for vlogging. Then on the top, we have, of course, the headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter microphone. We have this really grippy, like, kind of professional feeling that you can get from some of the cameras. We have the possibility to open up the SIM. There we go. If you have some fingernails, you can do it. So here we have, uh, what is it? Uh, SD card, SIM card slot and SD card here. Here the SD card. And on the other side, the SIM card slot, which is also pretty nice. You can, I think, either put two SIMs inside or one SIM and one SD card, or only one SIM and one SD card. And uh, yeah, um, the rest is clean. Lanyard uh, attachment possibility here on the bottom another microphone USB type C 3.2 I think it is then here we have the shutter button for taking photos so let's take a look at the trigger button for the shutter button actually that changed a lot it is a hairline shutter button so a very subtle press already focuses in comparison to the real click that you half click or half press that you can feel here on the Xperia 1 Mark 3 or the one Mark 2, for example. So here, you can see, uh, maybe you can see it, a little bit of pressing, just like slightly touching a bit harder, and it starts focusing already on the display, which is like, yeah, a bit interesting. On the one Mark, here you cannot just press, nothing happens. You have to really half press the shutter. Uh, which is more familiar familiar to normal cameras um, to take photos pictures and this year is more familiar to people who want to take uh, videos because they have then this hairline kind of shutter that uh, yeah is working its magic just touching it a little bit and 
yeah it's also very quiet and then you can just press the button so it has its uh, downsides but also it's good point so then the video button then the power and the volume broker so no google assistant uh, key that you don't really use it's the device itself let's turn it on and see if it has some juice inside yeah it's starting up and allows us to do our first installation with it here see slim bezels 8 megapixel front facing camera we have the loudspeaker here that also acts as a normal speaker uh, for stereo effect here's the second one i'm sure if you can see it there we go which is also pretty nice and uh, yeah this is the device this is my first impression i will do some uh, short video test after setting everything up and uh, then we'll take a look at the video quality of the main sensor so quick video testing with the main back camera and hopefully it is using also the internal microphones mono mic that is directly i think above the main camera like a centimeter maybe so of course i messed up and used the left and right channel for recording the video not the mono one because you have to go into settings of video pro and choose the mono uh, microphone explicitly but still even with the stereo mics it was impressive in terms of audio quality and this is now the mono mic that i'm using here on the video pro app of the xperia pro i this is the video quality that you can get this is 4k 60 by default video pro is recording already in 4k 30 but because i have a 60 timeline i thought well, I'll just bump it up to 60 frames per second and this is one of the very interesting new features of this camera or this smartphone you have native 4k 60 recording also in the video pro app and this is i think a great advantage over the one mark three which only had 30 frames per second and 120 frames per second recording at least in video pro and in the normal photo pro app only 4k 30 frames per second so this is the stabilization this is the these are the colors this is the focusing system and sun is shining directly on my face so i think i get a nice exposure as well and everything is on set on auto on the video pro app i could have set shutter speed to shutter speed roll 180 degree but this would make everything too bright yeah even in winter times here in cologne and I think you get a nice impression now also on the microphone. The microphone home the back is hopefully used. It's not windy here and I have disabled the wind filter or I didn't turn it on because by default it comes disabled here on this phone and you can turn it on. But if you turn it on, even though it says intelligent wind filter, it is filtering out some yeah, bassy kind of thing also in the voice, which I don't really like. So this is the pure xperia pro i video recording capability with its one inch sensor even though not the whole one inch is in use so what do you think mm, me being a total noob in videography as you might have uh, saw uh, thought that 4k 60 frames per second shouldn't be an issue for the xperia pro i but uh, i wasn't thinking that the electronic image stabilization might turn off at this resolution and high frame rate so i switched back to 1080p 60 frames per second and here you not only get ois but also eis and this should be a shot that is much much more stable it's a bit darker right now because it's evening already uh, but yeah this is what you can expect in terms of uh, quality out of this one inch sensor at f2 by the way as well so it gathers a little bit more light in this dimly lit situation and i'm using my microphone attached via the three and a half millimeter headphone jack as well which should work fine so here another test in terms of video so what do you think about stabilization now colors and uh, the 1080p 60 frames per second and now i switch to f4 do you notice any change in the background blur for example is it a bit darker than the f2 am i a little bit sharper with f4 just write it down in the comment section and back to f2 and hdr mode on so you believe me that it's really a gloomy day right now there's no blue in the sky it's not overexposing the sky with whiteness or something like this it's just not there the blue sky is not there we have winter time here in cologne germany so this is what you expect most of the day and when the sun comes out just like it came out uh, this morning it was really really cool and yeah just a few hours only 
So these are my first impressions with the Xperia Pro I. What do you think about the quality of the video that you just saw? I think it's pretty good and I was like a little bit surprised how bright the shot really was because I thought it was would be a little bit more gloomy, a bit more dark. In general, the camera, then the first impression in terms of photography is wow i'm amazed by this because it really feels like using a digital camera so a dslm from sony for example or fujifilm that i usually use so this is very very close to this feeling that yeah is a lot of fun and you can have this in your pocket always with you as a smartphone as well otherwise my impression uh, and i will show you some photos as well is nighttime photography in darker situations a lot better a lot bigger improvement in comparison to the mark III that still had yeah the night mode was kicking in sometimes but couldn't make like from nighttime daylight you still cannot do this with the pro i but you get a little bit more brighter photos and i was especially impressed by the not complete dark situations that you see again my bathroom photo phot photographed uh, my bathroom photo but you can see it in the low light photo where this like was blowing it away with sharpness and it was like even i think at one fifteenth of the second of a second taken this photo a long exposure and of course also the night mode kicking in and this is what the night mode usually does and the OIS is doing a really great job and I really got a sharp photo out of it so low light situation is no problem it is really one of the best smartphone cameras this year I can tell you this because what others do with computational photography Sony does but just putting in the best camera sensor that you can get right now in a smartphone at all and this is coming very very close to the capabilities of other smartphones even though they don't have so much computational photography here this is a smartphone and a camera system for camera enthusiasts who want to take good photos and even the auto mode that i used wonderful photos i took some photos with the manual mode of course video pro the photo pro app uh, where i took some manual exposures as well uh, by the way i also did a video i think yesterday released about the photo pro app and its manual mode if you are interested in this you can click this as well otherwise yeah this is really a um, dream come true for those who were dreaming about a smartphone with camera like functionality not like the point and shoot things that you can get left and right from various different manufacturers but the real deal with even an aperture i know only f4 and f2 but in certain situations this can become handy if you want to have close-up shots that are complete sharp you can switch to f4 have a little bit more noise eventually but still this looks very very good i'm very impressed by the xperia pro i and it has to impress me for this price point because yeah there are some other people saying you can buy a car for this a used car is there a new car for this price yeah, but a used car for this and uh, yeah this uh, is very expensive i really like to see this technology uh, going down in price from the software point of view you get the same software that we had on the one mark 3 on the one mark 2 nothing much changed android 11 here i even just copied over the profile so it looks exactly like, like my uh, one mark 3 right now uh, all the apps are there um, everything's working fine no issues with this the battery life is not exactly the same as the one mark three i think it's a little bit better but um, after just a few days i cannot really say anything it's just i really used it one day maybe completely fully so i cannot really say something and just the trend is going towards the one mark three which wasn't very good in the 100 120 hertz department you can get by it's a bit better here i would say um, but um, if you go down to 60 hertz probably you will be fine with this and um, if you want to have 120 hertz just like i have here right now then you might run into trouble that the battery will run empty especially as you will use this a little bit more with its splendid camera on the back 
Yeah, my first impressions in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do, of course, some further comparisons with the One Mark Free in terms of photography and videography and so on. You will see that, of course. Um, I just have to fight, find some time. And uh, I guess yeah, Christmas is coming near. The end of the year is coming near. Uh, that's everything for this video. If you have some questions if in regards to the Xperia Pro i, things that I should test out, just write it down in the comment section. That's everything. Until the next time. Bye.